Hello and welcome to this video on factoring quadratic equations. Um, this is useful if you need to solve a quadratic equation, though it can also just be nice to know how to factor them um, for other kind of applications. So I'm going to write out the general form of a quadratic again. We have ax squared plus bx plus c, and this all equals zero. So you're pretty familiar with this if you've been uh, using the quadratic formula or anything like that. This is the general form of a quadratic, ax squared plus bx plus c. So when we factor this, what we're trying to do is take the quadratic in this form and put it into a new form. So what, what it's going to look like is um, dx plus e times uh, fx plus g, okay, equals zero. So this d, e, f, and g, those are just unknowns. They're going to depend on what a, b, and c are. But this is what it's going to look like. So you, I guess this is the general form for a factored quadratic. It's going to be something times x plus something, all that times another something times x plus something. Okay, something like that. Um, so what we're doing here, the idea is that if you multiply these two together, then you should be able to get the original quadratic. When we factor a number, like 12 or something, uh, we find factors that be like 1 and 12. So these are numbers that when we multiply them together, we get um, this, this up here, number 12. So when we factor a quadratic, it's like finding two numbers that when we multiply them together we get the original one except instead of numbers it's like expressions so the reason we want to do this is uh, there's something called the zero product property which basically says that if you're multiplying a bunch of things together um, if one of them is equal to zero then the whole thing will be equal to zero so since we're multiplying these together and we want them to be zero all that we need to do is figure out the x that's going to make this term zero and the x that's going to make this term 0. Because if, if we plug an x into here and make this term 0, then it's going to be 0 times something, which is just 0. And then it's similar with the fx plus g. So that's, so that's what we're trying to do. The hard part is figuring out how to uh, do this arrow, convert it from this form into factored form. Um, so that's what we're going to be learning in this video. One more thing, factoring is not going to work for any quadratic equation. Um, it'll only work for some of them. So, yeah, it's not going to work for any quadratic, just for some. Okay, and I'm going to make one up that we can use as an example. Um, they're a little bit harder to make up because, like I said, they don't work for anything. 3x squared plus 12x plus 4. Okay. I think that'll work. Will it? Actually, uh, no, I'm not going to have this be 12. I'm going to make it 8. Okay, 3x squared plus 8x plus 4 equals 0. Okay, this should work well. Alright, so I'm going to make a little, little list of steps to do. The first thing is multiply um, a uh, and C. I guess I shouldn't have used yellow, but <laughs> whatever. Multiply A and C. So uh, when we do this for this example, we have 3 and 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay? Alright, next what you want to do is um, uh, you want to find factors of uh, a times c, a times c, that add to b. Okay, so this is the tricky step. You find factors of this number, a times c, that will add to b. So, kind of you see, <laughs> we were talking about 12 earlier, which is why I kind of chose 12. 
so this was kind of engineered but yeah so factors of 12 that add to b so the easiest way to do this is to first list out all the factors of a times c that you can think of so there's 1 and 12 2 and 6 uh, 3 and 4 and I think that's it now you can add up all these factors and see if any of them are b so 1 and 12 add up to 13 2 and 6 add up to 8 and 3 and 4 add up to 7 okay so here we go ding 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 since b is 8 this is the one we want uh, now this is the part where you would know that factoring is or is not going to work because if you can't find factors that add to b then factoring isn't going to help you you uh, you're going to have to use the quadratic formula or something like that we we say it's not factorable when that happens but in this case it is and um, the factors are 2 and 6 so now we do uh, this is kind of complicated I'm just going to write use box and go ahead and explain it okay so the first thing you do is draw a big old box okay like this alright and separate it into four quadrants um, okay so in this <laughs> in this corner up here uh, it's like the first corner we're gonna put the first term of our quadratic equation so that's 3x squared this corner down here uh, if you were reading this like a book you read uh, or well yeah like a book then and these were pages or something you would read this page first the 3x squared then this one then this one then this one you know like that left to right or something anyway the point is to just that this box down here in the lower right is the last box so in the last box you put the last term of your quadratic equation so that's C okay now in these two boxes here you're gonna put the factors of a times C okay that you found that add to B so there's gonna be a 2x and, and you put an x on with them and a 6x what you're kinda of doing here is you're taking 3x plus 8x plus 4 and changing it into 3x squared plus 2x plus 6x plus 4 okay so you're you're putting it into a form like this and then you basically just take those numbers and put them into the box so if it helps you you can go ahead and rewrite it once you find the factors because this would simplify to this but I think since you already written out the factors you can probably do it okay alright this is kind of the tricky part <laughs> as if it wasn't tricky enough already I'm gonna erase this arrow because we need some more room um, what you're gonna do is go around the box and find numbers you can multiply together to get the corresponding part of the box so let me show you what I mean so this 3x squared um, what we want to do is put a 3x here and an x here like a 1x so the idea here is that we're multiplying 3x by x to get 3x squared okay then we can move on to like 6x um, and actually yeah this is why this is tricky because if we look at this 2x we're thinking 3x times what equals 2x well that's not possible I mean it is but it would be like fractional which you don't want so that means that we have to kind of change this instead of having a 3x here we put just the x here and we put the 3 here <laughs> so then it's 3x times x to get 3x squared and now here we can just put a 2 so then it's 2 times x and we get 2x and then for this 6x we're gonna put uh, I guess another 2 here because it's 3x times 2 to get 6x and uh, I think that's it is that right looks good to me uh, and if, if it all worked out then this number times this number should be the last number so that would be 2 times 2 is 4 okay so once you've completed your box you're just about done you can rewrite your quadratic in factored form so what you do is you basically go across uh, the two or the row and the column and write down what you see so we have 3x plus 2 you know we put like a plus here and a plus here 
times uh, x plus 2. Okay, there you go, equals 0. Now it's in factored form. If you wanted, you could go ahead and multiply this back out, and you should get, you'll get this first, and then you can simplify that to our original. So you can see that it really does work out. It's just quite a process to figure out how to convert it to that form. All right, once you do that, the final step, you can just kind of solve. I'll just write that. So like I said earlier, we're going to use the zero product property and uh, set each factor equal to zero. So let's do this one first. 3x plus 2 equals zero. 3x equals negative 2. x is negative 2 thirds. Okay, there you go. That's going to be one of our answers. The other one, x plus 2, this will be a little bit easier. x plus 2 equals 0. x is negative 2. Okay, there you go. We found the solutions to our quadratic equation by factoring. Okay, it was quite a, quite a little process here. We had to do a lot of, uh, well, factoring. <laughs> but um, it all worked out. It's tedious, but it's not really that hard. I mean... You just have to multiply this together, find factors. This can be a little bit tricky, I guess, but as you do it more, you'll get used to it. And then this whole putting it in the box, it's tedious, and you could make a mistake, um, but it's not too hard. It's not terribly difficult. So uh, don't be too intimidated by it, because you can do it. <laughs> All right, so you could have found these answers using the quadratic formula if you wanted. Um, but notice, I mean, we didn't have to use a calculator, we didn't have to take any square roots, anything like that. It's pretty easy to get these answers, and, and we didn't have to use a calculator. They're pretty nice answers, so yeah, that's what's nice about factoring. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to end the video off here, but I'm going to do another video, which is going to be an example of uh, doing this when A is 1. Okay, you'll see it's actually a lot easier when a is 1. Um, when a is something like 3, or, you know, this process works for any values of a, b, and c as long as uh, they're factorable and, like, produce at least one answer. Um, but yeah, if a was 1, then this would be a lot easier, and you'll see that in the next video when we do an example. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope this uh, kind of helped you understand how to factor. If you're still a little bit unclear, it'll help to see the other example. Um, but yeah, I hope this helps. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.